They say you are what you eat, so I don't eat chicken feet. But I love me some of Grandma's pickled beets. Well, cut it up, put it in the pan, throw it over your shoulder and see where it lands right here in the farmer's kitchen. Maters, taters, beans and corn, the cows in the barn and the sheep's been shorn, kids in the barnyard chasing Grandpa's chicken. Chicken, chicken. Spices, slices, cuts and dices, gonna slash your grocery prices right here in the farmer's kitchen. Help you grow your garden good with recipes to suit your mood. Try some grub you've never tried before. Smash it with a wooden mallet, gonna educate your palate. Right here in Farmer's Kitchen, in town Farmer's Country Kitchen. We're gonna cook something good now. Hello and welcome to Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen. Look at here, look at this monster that was a puppy. And look at, look at Magnolia. Everybody's been wondering how she's doing. Look at that little roly-poly. They have gotten along fantastically, thank goodness. And you know what, these, he is really doing his job. Now, I noticed the other day, I try to watch them when they're not looking at me, and a possum was out here. Now, if he could have got a hold of that possum, that'd have been one pitiful possum. Now, she's not quite ready to fight anybody yet. Now, the girls, if you look right over here, now, I, I noticed that Mavis, she's the dark one, is getting really heavy, especially on one side. And the really light colored one, Milkweed, she seems to be pretty heavy. I'm not sure about Myrtle yet, but I'm hoping that we have some babies coming this spring. And other things that happen that you can't really have any control over is our trees, our ash population has really been absolutely destroyed by the emerald ash borer. Now, we also know that it's Valentine's Day. So Nikki and I have been here lately. We've been surprising each other. If she makes the main dish, I make the dessert or vice versa. Well, I'm making the main dish tonight. Now, when you think about romantic Valentine dinners, what do you think about? Well, everybody thinks about goat meat. Is that not your automatic response when it comes to a romantic Valentine dinner? Now, you think I'm kidding, but goat meat is absolutely fantastic. Now, recently we visited with Denise and Brian Martin at Martin Meadow Farms, and we looked at their boar goats, beautiful animals, the best meat in the world. I'm telling you what, it's so sweet and tender. Most of the world is eating goat now, except for us. We gotta catch up. So that's gonna be Nikki's wonderful romantic Valentine dinner. We got some chops, and I don't know what she's cooking up, but we're getting ready to go to cabin right now. Now you wanna see what the effects of the emerald ash borer are on our local ash population. Let's walk right over here and I'll show you a tree that has been negatively affected. If you look, you'll see some D-shaped holes where they get in here and they get under and just worm their way between the bark and the tree. Look at the damage they do. There's no chance for these trees to survive. I've got literally probably 100 trees like this that have to come down at some point. Right now, on a windy day like today, it's not actually good to be out here because these limbs could come down. But I remember seeing the purple boxes years ago. By that time, it was probably already too late to save these trees. But I have lots and lots and lots of firewood. So when we go up here to cook, you're gonna see lots of wood. I see you got on my wood cut. I did, I cut all this, chopped it, stacked it. Look right here. Wow. Look what they do. They get in between the actual bark of the tree and the tree itself. And look at the wormholes they cut. Destroy That it. tree cannot survive. Yeah. So as you can see, the bark comes off and it's terrible what they do. Ash trees are decimated around here. But as you can see, I've got lots of wood for years and years and years to come. That's right. So it is a- Valentine's. Valentine's Day. We got our cowboy hats on, so cowboy cooking segment, obviously. Now, we're heating our salt block up. So what are you making? What do you think, if you had to guess? I don't know. You well, gonna surprise me? We sat up here all day getting things ready. Now the wind's blowing, or the smoke's blowing right now. It makes me cry, I'm emotional. <laughs> it's you the and love. onions and smoke. I'm feeling love. And you told me what to have ready, and I asked you to come up with a surprise. So if I'm fixing the main dish, you're gonna fix the dessert, and we do this right. on occasion. And you know, it's winter time. When spring comes around, we're gonna really get kind of away from the dessert, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> 
Dessert's good, everyone needs dessert. So you told me to have a pan heated up because you gotta right. boil some stuff, right? And remember, you can do anything outside that you can do inside, just good common sense. Mm -hmm. Watch your temperature levels. You know, one of those little temperature guns, which I have inside, I'm gonna get here in a minute, that it will really help out to keep your temperatures right. But I do see a bowl of cherries. Right, you see sugar over there too? Yeah, so what do we, kind of give me an overview so you can tell me what we're doing here. Okay, I'll tell you how we start. I have. What, what, what is it? It's Cherry Valentine's Love Surprise. Is that a yellow cake mix? Yeah. I see where you're going. <laughs> you know I, I'm, you like I, stuff I like that. Stuff. It's sweet, you're gonna like it. It's super sweet, right. no calories. That's right, no Except calories. The ones that are right. in the dish. It's cherries, it's fruit, there's fruit. Okay. All right, what I'm gonna do first is I have six cups of cherries that six we're gonna pull into the pot. Sweetened cherries? Yes, they're sweetened, okay. but I've drained all the juice off them. They were in a syrup, but I drained right. that off. And we're gonna put half a cup of sugar, one cup of water and one cup of whatever your favorite bourbon is. And that's what we're gonna start with. We've got with. four roses today. Is that your right favorite? One of your good ones. Now, our butter is melting for your Cherry Valentine Delight. Mm -hmm. I like that name. You like that? Yeah. And then uh, we have our salt block. What's that for? What are you making? Well, that's for the side. Okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you. Okay. You know how you like different meats. You mm -hmm. know how you like the goat. Meat. I do love goat meat. Denise has brought us all kinds of stuff. Everything we've had has been delicious. Right. This is from Denise. Let me read you a few fun facts about goat meat. Okay. This is going to blow your mind. 75% of the world, 75% of the world eats goat meat. Really? It's lower in calories, lower in fat, lower in cholesterol than chicken or beef. Three ounces of goat has 122 calories. Three ounces of beef, 179. I still like my beef. I'm going to eat my beef, but on occasion. Sounds good. Listen to this. Three ounces of chicken has 162 calories. So 122 versus 179, 162. It has one third of the fat of beef, only 0.79 grams of saturated fat. Uh, beef has three grams and chicken 1.7. Goat meat does not contain any growth hormones because the USDA has not approved their use. And I know about Martin Meadow Farms, they're doing everything wonderfully. They have nice healthy critters out there. Right. Let me tell you what, I'm gonna take some chops. I'm gonna make a pesto. Just add a fresh basil, fresh rosemary, a little bit of oregano. Yummy. A little bit of garlic. Mm -hmm. Mix that up, chop it up, and put that in some olive oil. That sounds good to me. I'll start my fire with ash. All this ash I have, I'll burn it down to ash. Mm -hmm. Get some nice coals, and then I'll bring the hickory on for that savory, wonderful smell. Yeah. Then we'll put the goat right on top of that. You're getting close over here. Now yours is gonna take longer than mine. Right. So you've already got your butter Almost melted, and you've got a yellow cake mix. I see where you're going that's here. That's all that's left. I Very have easy. no power against this. Okay, you'll There's eat nothing it. nothing I can do. Right. Now, 350 degrees for a 12 inch pan. What does that mean? How many on the bottom, how many on top, you know? I'm not sure, 17 on top, eight on the bottom. I read my book. That's 350 degrees for a 12 inch pan. Now, we've got our charcoal briquettes uh, going over there. We're gonna take that over there. We'll finish up right over top of here. We'll get it nice and level, set our briquettes out, and then we have a visitor coming very shortly who's gonna tell us about a restaurant coming that has a unique concept. But let's get set up. We're almost done with your boil here. Let me get your charcoal briquette set up, okay. and we'll get to moving. Thanks. All right, on a windy day like today, these tend to burn down a little bit quicker so you might want to beef it up just a bit and always check. All right, now one thing you want to keep in mind is every now and then, this is only gonna go for about 40 minutes. Pick that top up and just slightly turn it around. Make sure there's no hot spots. Ensure that you have a evenly cooked cherry Valentine delight. Nikki has moved because, as you know, smoke follows beauty and it was just attacking her. It avoided, oh, that is so sweet. It avoided me at all costs. <laughs> it's Valentine's Day, actually. Okay. Like, but the smoke was avoiding me at all costs, going right in her exactly. face. Exactly. That is what so can sweet. I say? It's Valentine's Day. Aww. You know what, Nikki? I'm kind of surprised. Usually it's Valentine's Day. I did see a heart on the door. I can tell Carolyn's there. Yeah, she has. But I figured you'd have more stuff out. Well, don't you have to go check the dogs? 
Oh, so I have to go away. Yeah, you have to go away for a minute, and I'll have everything ready for well, our nice dinner. Well, right now I've got to watch our stuff. Okay. But I will go away in a minute because I do have to feed the dogs. But um, it's time for Shannon. Nice girl. Danville. Mm -hmm. Now, if you remember where Mermaid's Restaurant, I think they had one of the best steaks in the world. They did. They're not there anymore, but they're getting ready to open the doors here before long for a pay-what-you-can type restaurant like John Bon Jovi has up north. That's nice. Let's talk to Shannon. Made in the USA matters. So does quality, value, and variety. It's in every all-purpose galvanized steel tub and tank we make. Head over to TartarUSA.com to find the closest retailer who sells our quality tanks and tubs. Hey, I'm Tim Farmer, and I want to thank our friends over at Diamond Gusset Jeans for sponsoring our show. I wear their jeans because they're quality. Remember those jeans you used to have and pass down to your little brother? That's these kind of jeans. Comfort, value, 100% American made. Whether I'm on stage, on the farm, or out on the town, I'm wearing Diamond Gusset Jeans. If you don't know about Diamond Gusset, you need to check them out. And you can shop with them online at www.gusset.com. Standing up on a roof and talking to a camera is kind of extreme. Just like Tartar, extreme challenges. You've got a back brace on, you've got, you've got a neck brace, you've got a helmet. We just want to see how it hold up to the real extreme challenge. Well, here we go. Woo! We're just testing the product so it really does live up to durable, dependable, and tough. We are taking American-made products to the next level. We are Tartar Farm and Ranch Equipment. 